Hey guys, Ogre Barbarian here, and we're going to take another in-depth look. This time, we're going to take a look at Livewire Shock Jock. Livewire has a special striker gear set, so high intelligence, low health, pretty good speed overall. Clocking in, I think, at third or fourth overall for everybody on the uh, roster. Let's go ahead and take a look at our skills real quick. So we have Gigawatt, deals special damage to an enemy. 5% damage for each intelligence up on live wire to a maximum of 10, so up to 50% uh, extra damage for each intelligence up she has. Uh, and the legendary for this, 40% chance to hit an additional random enemy. There we have quick charge. Gain between 2 and 5 intelligence ups, recover 5% health. And the uh, amount recovered does go up, and the amount of intelligence ups that is guaranteed and chanced also go up. So you'll gain between 4 and 7 intelligence ups, and recover for 5, 10, 10 percent health? 15 percent health, sorry. Legendary for this is also purge 2 debuffs from Livewire, so not bad. And then we have Lightning Storm, special damage to an enemy. Purge all intelligence ups off of self. 10% chance to strike a second enemy per intelligence up purged. So if she has 10, she's guaranteed to strike twice. And then this also gives a 5% chance per intelligence up purge to strike a third time. So if she has 10 intelligence ups, she's going to strike twice. And then she has a 50% chance to strike a third time. So, and then her legendary for this is for every two intelligence ups purged from Livewire, gain one evasion up. So, and Livewire's evasion all work the same. They, one at a time, fall off on her turns. Alright, and then her passive ability. If two or more allies are hit, take damage from a single attack. You have a chance to use Gigawatt, which is her basic, and apply one speed down to the attacker. This does go up to three speed downs, and it also increases the chance to 50%, it looks like. No, 60%. 60% chance to use Gigawatt and apply up to three speed downs to the attacker. And then the legendary for this, if Static Shock is triggered, gained two intelligence ups. So if your opponents use AoEs a lot, you're going to get a lot of intelligence ups that way. Which is also going to fuel into uh, Lightning Storm's ability to grant you more evasion up. And then her passive, second passive, Living Lightning, uh, start each battle with 4, goes up to 6, evasion ups, 1 evasion up purged each time Livewire has a turn, and again that's what I was saying before, and then she's also going to gain turn meter if Livewire evades, which is, you know, pretty handy. It does go up to a total of... Uh, 25 to 40% turn meter, depending on if she evades. Legendary for this, if Livewire evades, 50% chance to reduce the cooldown of Livewire's other abilities by 1. Of Livewire's all abilities, rather, by 1. So this can reduce Quick Charge to a uh, 0, reduce Living Lightning to a much less cooldown. So it does allow for some uh, decent decency. However, I think that Gigawatt and Lightning Storm... Lightning Storm is probably definitely one you want to pick first, and then Gigawatt second, and Static Shock third. Fourth, I would probably take uh, the cooldown reduction, and fifth, I would probably take the purges, just because hopefully she's not going to get hit. Let's go ahead and take a look at some team comps for her real quick. So the first one I got for you is Batgirl lead, along with Siren and Harley Quinn Magister. And the idea with this one is that Batgirl gives everybody three additional evasions at the start of the battle and Harley Quinn will be able to evade a lot of hits that way. And then Siren will be able to stack her bleeds to gain her evasions, and Livewire will be able to, you know, continuously use her abilities and not be able to be targeted or hit very often. So that's the idea with this one. And then, of course, Batgirl's leadership, if they are ever evade, they get healed, and she'll smack somebody with a purge as well. As turn meter down, I think, so. Not bad team. The vision team, not my style. Uh, and then we got Dr. Fate lead with Livewire, Shazam, and Firestorm. 
And this is your intelligence team. They all do special damage. Uh, Dr. Fate is going to grant shields and intelligence ups to the team to allow the end hit chance as well. Don't forget that. That is kind of important. Uh, to allow them to uh, do their thing a little bit more effectively. Yeah, Shazam, especially with his two-turn taunt and his overheal and stamina ups. When he gains that shield, just absolutely monstrous at that point. And then Firestorm can also grant shields to the team if he needs to, along with his massive AoE. And then Livewire just goes off constantly, hitting random opponents you know, for pretty good chunks of damage. And then, of course, Dr. Fate with his heal immunity and purges. You know, he should, he should be an all-around nice team. So, and then our last one that I've got for you today, we've got Black Canary as our leader, Livewire, Catwoman, and Batman Beyond. And this one, using Canary as the leader, will uh, allow you to uh, Wildcat Haymaker whenever anybody evades, or, or sorry, if they have evasion ups, if they gain evasion ups during their turn, they're also going to gain an awareness. And then Batman Beyond will be striking all over the place, playing hit chance downs. Catwoman can go invisible and gain evades. Livewire can gain evades. Canary can gain evades. Batman Beyond can gain evades. So they're all going to gain evades constantly, hopefully. So, And then, of course, Black Canary can also do the uh, hit chance downs. So you're going to have hit chance downs and evades all the way around. And that'll be able to get you a lot of mileage, I think. you got Catwoman for purging. And you should be able to basically outlast anybody with this team, since they're going to be evading and hit chance downing all over the place. So you shouldn't have to worry about purging too much, but it's there if you need it. That's all I got for you this time. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. As always, enjoy and grind on.